there guys welcome back to my channel my name is priscilla and this is missilla as usual if you're here for the first time thank you for stopping by my channel kindly click on the subscribe button down below also click on the notification bell so that you're notified once i upload other new videos i am so glad that you're here if you're here for the second third fourth hundredth time thank you for always watching my videos i hope you consider liking my video if you like this video and keep watching till the end so yeah guys i moved <clears throat> from my house the house that i was living in i already have a, a video in my channel at, at house tour in my channel so you can check it out if you've not seen it yet so i moved houses and this is because if you've lived in malindi you know that water is really an issue water is can be an issue if you're living somewhere that has no alternative source of water water can really 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 be an issue so that is what made me to move so i found a smaller house a bed sitter but at least has an alternative source of water it's not perfect there are so many things that i need to fix so i thought that i should show you the before so that when i fix whatever i have i should show you the before and what i am thinking of fixing so that i when i fix whatever i have to fix you can then see the after and do the comparison so guys ah here is the tour of the mm, funny looking weird looking house i'll tell i'll tell you the things that i find weird in this house and what i'm thinking of doing to fix them so stay with me so let's start from the door that's the door it's a wooden door i really don't like this door but well that's what we have so that's the wooden door then down there i have a table mat ah, a table mat not a table mat a doormat which is red it's just the one from the other house so as you may have already guessed the first thing that annoys me about this house is actually the the paint i mean who paints their house blue goodness gracious and i asked this guy if they can change this color and imagine they say they can't change it seriously who paints their house blue anyway that's the paint so i'm thinking of putting a wallpaper so yeah that's one of the things that i'll be doing and i will show you the whole process so i'm thinking of putting a wallpaper to a lighter color because this color is just ugh. yeah so on the <clears throat> on the right side of the door immediately you enter is the kitchen area and i like this house because it has a separate kitchen area if you watch my previous video there was not really a separate kitchen area it was just a sink somewhere in the corner then you figure out what to do with it and these kitchen spaces the surfaces over here the surface over here is a bit bigger and it's just good i like the tiles and the color of the tiles is okay it's light colored and it's good so that's fine and up there it also has some shelves the other house had no shelves goodness gracious you had to fix your things wherever you will fix them <gasps> it was a mess at least there are shelves where i can put everything and anything i want to put i've barely been three days in this house then guys the good thing about living in a house that is actually up there is like the tv antenna can work from inside the house because i live in the second floor so imagine i just put there my tv antenna we have the normal antenna and we have the good tv antenna and both of them can actually function from inside the house that's interesting so that's the the kitchen area then down there i've put some water containers though i don't really need them because i always have water running in the tap but i have phobia because i lived somewhere where every time i open the tap there is no water it was a mess then down there there is a dustbin there is a then there is a charcoal jiko then here i have my gas my 6 kg gas and a grill and a banner so i'm i'm planning to buy a kitchen table those are some of the changes that i'm going to do i'm then going to buy a kitchen table then i'm also going to buy a two banner on top of there so everything every of these things you'll be seeing that's why i decided to show you the before so immediately you enter the house on the right side is the kitchen area and that is actually the kitchen area and the changes that i'm going to make i have already shown you so after the kitchen area that's the washroom door uh i think i'll show you the washroom door after hmm. okay let's go to the left side of the main door <laughs> let's start from the other side so that's the door again then down there 
right there yeah that's the snake plant guys i have gone back to planting to having live plants in my house i was not having live plants in the other house because it used to be a bit dark but this one is well lit i'm using natural light my lights are not even on and you can see the video is clear so that's my snake plant i'm back to planting then that side you will see my tv down there is the is the tv stand the tv and that's the decoder go tv decoder then the other side of the tv i have some pieces of deco that are actually self-made i don't know if i should zoom in yeah right there there is some pieces of deco i really like them then up there it's written there's always a reason to smile so yeah yeah guys then the other side at the corner there are some boxes and everything i'm barely i'm barely three days in this house so there are things that i've not yet even uh i've not yet arranged well then there is my coach my coat and my two throw pillows pink and white you remember my themes gray pink white and i'm planning to keep here it's only the wall that i have to correct then on top of the coach we have to add rise and shine then start try again this time with god i'm supposed to put them up there up there on the wall or up here above the tv so the thing those are things that i've not done so the two pieces of deco this one and this one I'm supposed to put them on the wall, so I'll do that. Then on the coach, there are some remotes. This coach is the one I had in the other house, so I've not changed it. Then my table, my glass table, the same one that I had. Then on top, it's a table mat, a white one. Then my gray carpet, as usual. So that's basically my living room area. We have the, the snack plan, my TV, TV stand, some pieces of deco, my coach, my table, and there. Uh, then on this side now is my bed after the coach now is my bed you people you guys must still remember this shit most likely and yeah i still love it of course i change it but it happens that every time i'm doing a, a house tour it's the one that is on the bed then i have a pillow over there up there is a net uh considering this is not <clears throat> does not have a separate bedroom it's a bed sitter i'm also thinking of bringing a an uh you know a modern net with a stand so that it looks good because it's just right here in the living room right so those that's another change that i have to do <clears throat> after the i don't know why the lighting is bad so after the bed then we have the window the only window in the house it's big enough and i like it this is how our windows look like there's a mesh outside then there's the <clears throat> There is some wires and some poles and whatever. Those are that's how Sawili windows look like. And as you can see, I already have that stupid curtain. Uh, another thing that I'm supposed to change in this house, I'm supposed to remove that piece of wood. If you can see it, that one up there. Yes, I need to get rid of that because I don't know what it's doing there. Then I need to purchase curtain rods so that I can put them there and put my curtains, my long curtains, if you still remember them. So that's something that I also need to do. So guys, I will show you how I install the curtain rods and how I put there my curtains. That's something that I intend to show you. Uh, I think I'll also install some curtain rod above the, the main door. Yeah, and put some curtains over there as well. So after that, we have my shoe rack. I hope you guys still remember this shoe rack from the other house. Yeah, that's my shoe rack up there. Of course, I always put my hair products, my skin products and anything else that i feel i should put it there so that's my shoe rack i really love this shoe rack because it's white it's simple and it's just enough even if i purchase more shoes i can put them down there below the shoe rack down there or up there where i've put my product then i have like a small mirror there so then we are back to the washroom door so first of all before i show you inside the washroom i need to show you a, a full tour now of the house without interruption so that you understand I like to be educated but I'm so frustrated hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss I will. 
guys imagine that mirror i actually found it in this in this house it's an awesome mirror i love it so that's the one side then on the corner there's a sink up there i have placed my face wash products i use the Garnier skin active the charcoal three in one and i also use this one from fastmo face wash with foam it has lemon for dark spots i like the sink it's so small and it's so convenient because it doesn't take a lot of space in the washroom so down there i have my cleaning materials then up there right above the sink is also this small shelf that i also found here something that is really interesting so i put my toothbrush and toothpaste then i have two soap dishes over there i have my air freshener my bleach my cleaning things jig topex and some doo, doo dust in the other house i used to have a lot of small insects they call them chungu chungu <laughs> yeah so that's why i have doo, -doo dust i've not seen that problem here but well just in case you know the other side now that's a tub there's a tap down there, down there where you can fetch water when I'm washing and all clothes and all that. Then that's my shower head. Though this shower head, I've also realized that it doesn't sprinkle water. It pours water like it's it's a tap. So that's something that I need to work on as well. So that's the cistern and I have some soap over there. That's my mopper. My mopper over there. Then down here is the toilet seat. And the color of the tiles on the wall is the same as the one in the kitchen, which I'm okay with. But then when I found them, they were really, really dirty. So I had to use steel wool to clean them. Now they look much, much better. And then on this side is also a towel hanger. Oh my God, this house just is interesting. I found it really nice that this was actually put here. I also found this here. And also here is a tissue paper holder yeah it's a tissue paper holder and it's considered because it has this cover so i can just close it when i'm i'm taking a shower so that my tissue is not spoiled and i can just you know right you understand good color of the of the floor the tiles on the floor are also great i think they stand too much of the walls which is good so the the tiles generally so guys that's basically how the, my my new house looks like it has so many falls that i have to take care of i've already highlighted the 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 wall paint i'll have to put a wallpaper so that it makes sense who even paints their house blue seriously and it's not even light blue it's dark blue goodness gracious that thing i really found it really annoying and the landlord was not even willing to change it yeah so number one thing is the paint on the wall i have to work on the wall then i have to put my my deco pieces on the wall that's another thing then i also have to install the curtain rods and put my long curtains so that the house makes sense so that's another thing that i need to do i also need to buy a kitchen table and a two uh, two burner so that it also makes sense so there's so much that i need to do and guess what guys i'm going to take you guys through the whole process so the first thing that i'm going to do is to install the curtain rods and put my curtains and i'm going to show you the process i'll do it next week so that's basically the next video that you're seeing guys so stay tuned thank you for watching my video till the end if you're not yet subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe and see you in my next video i love you guys bye